uh, I was over 40 years old and there was a, um, uh, a silent auction at the church and my wife worked at the church and she suggested that I make a drawing and donate it to the silent auction. And so she had seen me draw around the house for my own pleasure and so forth. So I drew a sailboat and it sold for the amazing sum of $10. The fact that Jack Miller's artistic chapter starts with a sailboat is not insignificant. Jack grew up landlocked in Indianapolis, yet has always been intrigued with seafaring. On Long Island Sound, there's a, a city called Mystic Seaport. One day, it was strange, and I was sitting on a bench like this, looking over the scene, and there was a big three-masted sailing ship in front of me and a bunch of old restored stores along uh, Cobblestone Street. And I, I just sat there for a few minutes and I realized that I had never felt as comfortable in my life as that moment. I felt like I was where I belong, my home. This is, this, this feels like home to me. And I don't necessarily believe in uh, reincarnation, but if there is such a thing, I know I was a sailor <laughs> in a previous life. It was Jack's lifelong career that drew him to put pen to paper. Well, that particular medium is easy for me. Um, I, I was in engineering, and as part of my education, I had a, three semesters of drafting. And uh, so I, I was very familiar with the tools, pens and pencils and all the other tools that go with drawing. So drawing was kind of easy for me. Since Jack found his artistic self, he has created hundreds of drawings and has received several awards. His inspiration for this first place Blue Ribbon winner called My Lake View came from his apartment balcony at Lakeview Village. While Jack is grateful for the honors, there is another reason that keeps him drawing. I get a lot of satisfaction out of the people's reaction. That really stimulates me. I enjoy bringing a smile to somebody's face or um, bringing, bringing pleasure to their life in some way. And, and it, it kind of gives me purpose. Seniors who live life with purpose tend to live longer and stronger lives, according to the American Medical Association. At 87, this engineer, artist, and perhaps even sailor is living proof of that.